Hey guys, Steve here, the Canadian Saddle Hunter. I wanted to give you a rundown of my elk and moose hunt last week. I've gotten a lot of emails and questions about it. So we went out to near Hinton, Alberta with Ballad Outfitters. I want to give a big shout out to Brian and Bryant and our guide Dylan um, for helping us all week. We arrived and Friday night we went out and on the first kind of scouting mission, we saw an elk, um, a five by five, not a, not a real big one, but enough to chase and we went um, in the bush. We had him within about 15 yards, but the, it was too thick to get a shot on it. But it was a great experience for my son to have an elk coming that close. And then the next morning, which was his birthday, we, just as we got out of the truck, we were kind of going around the opposite side of where we saw the elk the night before. A cow and a bull, a moose, came out from the trees. And we were just barely getting ready. I had just put my release on. My son didn't even have his release on. And the bull started to saw us and started to take off around these trees. Uh, I took a couple of steps trying to get an angle. And then he turned around and came back to the cow. We're not sure if it was um, maybe uh, the mother, because um, the bull was about a year and a half, or if that cow was just an estrus a little early. And either way, he didn't want to leave her. So he came back. I ranged uh, with my Vortex rangefinder 52 yards. Um, we took a couple of steps. I just kind of guessed, and I let her rip. Um, double lung, broke through a rib, double lung, and he went, and he only went about 45, 47, 50 yards before piling up. The arrow and the broadhead I used, I used an annihilator broadhead here. Um, we sharpened them on the Stay Sharp 344 guide. Um, I mean, I sell this stuff and it sounds like a commercial, but yeah, it works. Um, we got these things really, really sharp. Ethan, my son, the night before was getting them all super sharp. And the plan was if an animal was under 50 yards, I was gonna use uh, an iron wheel single bevel. Um, on an arachnid uh, phobia arrow, which was about 650 grains. That's my plan if the animal was under 50. If the animal was over 50, then I had these Carbon Express Maxima um, with a 25 grain insert and then an annihilator broadhead um, brought to that 44 degree sharpness rather than the stock um, 60 with a 25 grain insert. So I think my arrow weight here is like 458 uh, grains. Not really heavy, but flies super, super well. Um, with a knock, let knock on there. One of the things, um, besides the fact that when it happened, it all happened so fast, and I, I shot the moose, I heard that whack as it just went through, and it stuck through um, about six inches in the dirt on the other side. I had to take a knee because I would just, the adrenaline was, was hitting. After we got to it, I was amazed at what the annihilator did to the inside of the moose. I'm in contact with them, trying to bring them up. I don't sell them right now, but I'm working on it. What uh, they've advertised about how it causes like this cavitation, like slug effect inside the animal. And honestly, I just thought that was marketing and I didn't believe it. When we went inside um, the moose, it went right through a rib, a bone on the one side, right through the lungs, in between the ribs on the other side, again, stuck in the dirt. It left like a, a perfectly round hole on the one side and the lungs, if you've ever cleaned an animal, um, if you're a little squeamish, skip this part, but if you've ever um, field dressed an animal, you know that typically when you go through, you can see where your arrow has, or your broadhead has sliced through the lungs and it makes an X or a, a slit depending on what head you're using. What was interesting about this is it had the hole, but then about three and a half inches around on either side, it, it was like, jello the lungs had it, it, like a shock wave gone through and it was like this far around uh, like was like vaporized um, it's, it's really hard to explain without seeing it oh garbage trucks going by sorry guys if i wasn't four minutes into this video i'd re-record it but we're just going to keep going with it all right so about um so six inches round three inches on each side from the actual hole of the arrow it would just like it was it would just mush Somehow, um, the way these things are designed, again, I'm going to talk about it on their website and stuff, it kind of pushes that, um, the shock wave, as it were, out, and it just devastated this animal. Again, this is a, a bull moose, and it went less than 50 yards after being shot at over 50 yards. I, my bow is a Fotec SR6, so it's 72 pounds, 29 and a half inch straw. So, I mean, the arrow is moving, but it's nothing crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can bring some of these in because I was I was really impressed with these broadheads. 
Um, so that was how we got the, the moose down on my son's birthday. We hunted hard the rest of the week. We had some really good encounters um, with uh, one elk bugling and growling at us. And a massive, massive, like 60 inch plus of bull moose. This outer range, 148 yards and just, just too far. With a gun, boom, it's down. But you can't take shots like that with a bow. So um, the heat worked against us. It was 32 degrees one day. We had a great time. We made memories, my son and I, that I'll never forget. Thank you to all of you who are cheering us on. And we are caught up with all the orders, the stuff that we have, products in stock. We're still waiting for some things, and I've reached out to you. Hopefully, we have a whole bunch more stuff coming in here shortly and can get all ready for the season. I hope that your 2022 hunting season was even half as exciting as the, on the first couple days of my hunt was. If you're looking to go out west and do some hunting, um, Valid Outfitters is fitters is great, especially moose. Man, if you are a moose hunter, there was so many moose out there. It was it was crazy. It was just fantastic. Anyways, have a good one, guys. We'll chat at you later.